Bear Country, you'll know when you're there. As soon as you enter, you'll feel like a bear. A great grizzly bear. A Berenstain bear. We are the Berenstain Bears. Mama. Papa. Sister. Brother. We appreciate each other. We live in a split level tree. Mama, Papa, Sister, and me. Here are more Baron State Bears. That's your factual. Big Bob Bear. Professor Alf. Oh, who's he, Honey Bucket? I'm the mayor. And lots, lots more. Bears galore. You may think that this starts our show. Well, it does. with the customers, Sister Bear. It's just a little treat for the cubs. Your farm's great produce brings in the customers. Boy, everybody's buying your fruits and vegetables faster than we can pick them. Well, Mrs. Ben and I try growing nothing but the best, <laughs> especially my corn. Yeah, Farmer Ben's golden corn. Sweeter than honey, worth twice the money. That's right. It's my main cash crop. I depend on it. It must be fun growing all this good food. Hard work is what it is. Running a successful farm isn't easy. You see that land across the road? That used to be a farm, but the folks couldn't make it work. And look at that old windmill. Sure is run down. Something about it gives me the creeps. Speaking of creeps, look who's coming. Mmm. I think it's time to tickle my taste buds with some of Father Ben's fresh fruit. Don't worry, Cubs. The day will never come when I can't handle the likes of Raffish Ralph. What do you need, Ralph? I don't need a thing. But I've got something you need. A 99-day weather forecasting service. Not interested. Look, if money's a problem, then there's no problem. In exchange for my invaluable service, I am willing to accept a basket full of assorted fruit. No deal. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll throw in a 12-month supply of roll-on pig deodorant and a package of special seed that grows brown grass. Brown grass? Guaranteed to make the cows give chocolate milk. I don't need your weather forecasting service or your pig deodorant or your brown grass seed. If you want some fruit, pay for it like everyone else. All right, all right. Don't bend yourself out of shape. I'll pay. Now, give me a few peaches, plums, grapes, apples, and kumquats. Lots of kumquats. Right away, Ralph. How about if I uh, wrote you a check? No checks. Cash. Cold, hard cash on the barrel head. Pay up or ship out. OK, OK, you'll get your money. What's happened to good old-fashioned trust? Nobody trusts anybody anymore. Fine. And here's your fruit. All I can say is, this better be good. Way to go, Farmer Ben. Hmm, yes. I think this new plan will work. Instead of trying to take over Bear Country Lock, Stock, and Honey Pot. Yes, uh-huh. Head Squeezels! Yes, your heart, Squeezel shit! Reach out for Raffish Ralph, now! Immediately, your heart, Squeezel shit! Come on down! Whoa! Oh! Hi, Chief. Uh, you wanted to see me? I didn't want to see you, Dunderhead. But I've got a little job I need you to do. Oh, that's great, Archweasel. Uh, you know, you can count on me. I've hatched a new plan to take over Bear Country. <laughs> Instead of snatching at Lock, Stock, and Honey Pot, <laughs> I'm going to take it over piece by piece. Starting with an above-ground headquarters. Mm, yeah. Uh, sounds good, boss. But uh, how are you gonna get this above-ground headquarters? By the sneakiest way. Mm, 
impossible. I'm going to buy it. Ah, oh, you're a genius, Archweasel. A genius. You're going to buy it. Who would have thunk it? Now let's pick us out a, a piece of property so you can buy it for me. Ah, I can get you a good deal on this place, Chief. It's prime waterfront property. That's your worthless land and sinister bog. You snake! Did you think you could swindle me, Archweasel McGreed, the king of swindlers? Did you? Uh, 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 sorry, Archweasel. Uh, uh, I wasn't thinking. Mmm, yummy. Hey, where did all this yummy, delicious stuff come from? Oh, uh, uh, that's from Farmer Ben's farm. Then that's what we'll go after. Farmer Ben's farm. One thing's better than an above-ground headquarters. A yummy above-ground headquarters. <laughs> oh, these kumquats. Oh, long. Ah, uh, but Chief, Farmer and Mrs. Ben really love their farm. How are we going to get them to sell? Simple. We make them an offer they can't refuse. Hmm. That's what I call a high figure, serious money. Well, that's a nice figure, all right. But I'm not interested in nice figures. I'm a farmer, and I'm interested in squash, rutabagas, kumquats, and, of course, my special golden corn. But my secret investor's offer is more than generous, and... Farm's not for sale. Now get! Make room for paying customers. Farmer Ben, everyone's asking for corn. Sorry, but it's not ready yet. Farmer Ben sells no corn before it's time. You empty-headed boob! Can't you do anything right? You foul up every single task I give you! Ninja poop! <laughs> I better check out that Farmer Ben situation myself! <laughs> That old windmill gives me an idea. Mm, yes, yes, perfect! Uh, it can't fail. Huh? Uh, but what can you do with this rotten old windmill? Something delightfully, deliciously, fiendishly disgusting. <laughs> Looky here! Our special corn's ready for eating! Wow! That's the biggest corn I've ever seen! No doubt about it! It's the best looking corn in bear country and the most delicious! Uh huh! They're beautiful! Can't wait to taste it! Ah, uh, Cracky! What's the rack? Land sakes! They're fixing up that old windmill! Yeah! I wonder what's going on! I'll tell you what's going on! Since Farmer Ben here wouldn't sell his farm, my wealthy investor bought that old farm. Well, see ya. I gotta check on the progress. Guess you're gonna have a working farm across the road again. Well, I don't mind. I'm all for a little healthy competition. But with Raffish Ralph mixed up in it, it could be unhealthy competition. Oh no, he can't be. I'm wrong. Something awful must have happened. It's the corn blood. The awfulest, worstest thing that can happen to corn. Oh, 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 we'll be wiped out. Hey there, it's me again. I've got another offer for you from my secret investor. But this is only half of what you offered last week. That's true, but this corn blight you've got changes things. Well, my farm's worth more than this. Blight or no blight, now get off my land. Okay, but I'll be back. Ralph is up to something. Yeah, like how come he knew about the corn blight? And I wonder who his secret investor is. Hmm, is there anything around here that's different from a few days ago? Oh, well, near as I can tell, that pretty windmill's the only thing different. Don't I get a pinwheel? Of course you do. Look, the windmill's turning against the wind. Hmm, that sure is a little fishy. Don't you mean a little weaselly? Come on, let's investigate. Look, the 
windmill's blades are being turned by a motor. Yeah, that's why it was turning against the wind. And it's blowing dust from that box that says corn right on it. Hey, look at this stuff. They were going to ruin all of Farmer Ben's crops. Rutabaga plague, radish poison, squash killer. Potato rot? Who had explained it? <laughs> that no good Ralph and his investor was trying to keep me out of my farm. Well, that raffish Ralph better not show his face around my vegetable stand. I, it wasn't my fault. The, the, the windmill was your idea. Shut up! And get me some goodies. Maybe you can handle that. Well, this batch is as good as gold. Stop the blight just in time. Sure is. Looks yummy. Beautiful! I'm on in, Farmer Ben. I just dropped by to purchase some of your tomatoes, peaches, and kumquats. Tomatoes, huh? Peaches, huh? Kumquats, you say? I'll give you tomatoes, peaches, and kumquats. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Oh. 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 